In order to capture stuff, you've got to set up some settings inside of EDIUS. You do that by going to Hardware and then Device Presets. You'll need this even if you haven't got a Blackmagic device or any kind of capture card. You'll need this to set up a microphone to record voiceover or a DV thing to capture through Firewire. So what you do is you come up to Device Preset, click on New, give it a name, like I'm calling this Blackmagic BM1920, whatever you feel like. You can select an icon, there's a whole bunch in here. All that does is put a little pretty picture on it. You can even make your own if you can be bothered, which I can never be bothered. But anyway, you put one in there, click Next, and here's where you do the important stuff. What kind of device are you capturing from? Generic OHCI is what you do for Firewire. I'm not going to do Firewire at the moment, I'm going to do Blackmagic. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to choose my Blackmagic device. Then I'm going to come down here to where it says Video Format and choose the format I'm capturing. So obviously it's defaulting to 8-bit and 1920, 1080, 5994, which is a US HD standard. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to change it to be my sort of UK settings. Imagine I'm trying to do standard definition, not high definition. Well, I'm going to pop down here and I'm going to look for the 720 by 576 settings. There's two down here. One is 4.3 and one 16 by 9. And there's two here. Again, 4.3, 16 by 9. But these ones are 8-bit and those ones are 10-bit. If you capture 10-bit stuff, it's going to be a little bit bigger than 8-bit stuff. Generally, I'd try and capture it in the best quality possible. Although, to be honest, if I'm coming off VHS tapes, which is what I'd use this kind of setting for, the chances I'm going to notice any difference between 8-bit and 10-bit is quite minimal because they'll be pretty rubbish in the first place. But anyway, I'm choosing that. I'm going to come down to choose the codec, of which there's various options, but I tend to go for Grass Valley HQX. Now, Grass Valley is a very good format. It's not very compressed, so it keeps the quality up, but it doesn't take up as much space as uncompressed. So I like to use one of those two, and HQ is 8-bit, and HQX is 10-bit. So I choose that. You do have some settings, so you can fiddle with these sliders if you want, but I tend to just shove it on fine myself. Do you capture it as an AVI or an MXF? I would tend to leave it as AVIs, because more things read AVIs. I never capture proxy files at the same time as high-res files. And on the audio format side, I'd set that to be stereo. And I would forget the rest. Click on Next. This kind of stuff you can actually ignore for practically all the presets, the output hardware. And then Bosch, it is completed. I now have a capture preset so I can capture standard definition. Should probably have called it standard definition. So let's go back in there, click modify, and just call it standard def. Click next, 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 complete. And now I have a standard definition preset. If I want to use it, you come out of that, go to capture, select input device, choose kind of def, Bosch, I'm capturing. If you want to know more about that, have a good look at my full tutorial you can buy from the DVC training website. Now I've just set up one preset there for black magic for standard definition. I might want to set up others for high definition and so on. But the one thing you might have noticed when I was setting that up is at no point did I say whether I'm coming through composite or component or S video or whatever. That's because all you set up in EDIUS is what the size and frame rate is. You set up the kind of input by going to the black magic control panel. I just pop down here find the Blackmagic group and go to this thing desktop video setup and it pulls up Blackmagic's own control panel. Here it's showing you I've got the intensity shuttle of course you've probably got something else. I'm just going to click on this little box here and then here I really don't have much I fiddle with because pretty much everything you set up inside of EDIUS apart from the video input. So I'm going to click on that and choose which hole I'm using. Is it S video? Is it composite, component or HDMI? You don't have to do that at this point when you're setting up EDIUS. Basically, you do that when you're about to capture. So inside of EDIUS, you know, if I was going to start capturing some stuff, I'd go up to Capture, Select Input, choose Black Magic. I'm now ready to capture it, but maybe I can't see a picture. Well, all you have to do is open up this control panel and tell it, oh no, the picture's meant to be coming in through composite. That's why you can't see it. You click on Save, and then suddenly the picture will pop up here. That's why that black magic thing doesn't have to be set up at the same time as you do the device presets. Apart from that, there's a few other device presets that you might like to set up. So let's have a look at those. You might also want to set up another couple of settings. So I'm going to click on new and I'm going to set one up for DV. You notice I'm calling it DV4x3. 
I'll explain why in a second. Now for DV, I select Generic OHCI. I come down here, and you notice because I've selected Generic HCI, there's fewer options. I'm going to choose 72576. And basically, I'm going to leave the rest of the stuff as it is. So having chosen standard definition, Generic OHCI, I click Next. And this is the only place where I do find it useful to actually set up an output hardware format. And the reason is, if you want to go back to tape, this will govern how it comes up. So if you're making up a DV preset, set one of these up with Generic OHCI and 72576, 4x3, and then click Next and OK. Now I have found when I'm going back to tape with DV that I actually need two presets. So I need to do that, then I need to take that, copy it, modify the copy, call it 16 by 9 don't change anything there, but here, choose 16 by 9 next, complete. So I have two DV presets, and I only need to do that, and the only thing I modified between the two of them was the hardware output, but I only need to do that if I'm going to go back to widescreen DV tape. The other preset you probably want to set up is a microphone. If you don't do that, you can't do voiceover recordings. So what I'm going to do is click on New here and call it Microphone. Let me select a microphone looking icon. Go Next. And here on the list of interfaces, you click on that and you show Direct Show Capture. That probably won't be there if you haven't plugged your microphone in. I've just plugged in a USB headset going to click on that and you'll notice immediately it's showing me this Sennheiser USB headset. Not a lot to change here although I do tend to go into the settings and then audio setting and fiddle with say the, the input level just here. This sort of box might vary depending on what you've got but generally I find particularly on my USB mic that I use for most of these recordings I have to whack the level up quite high so I want the default level to be a bit higher. Now when you come to do voiceover you can fiddle with it anyway, but I like to set that a bit higher. OK, next, don't really need that, I'll just put not select, Bosch, job done. Now I've got a microphone, so when I go to the voiceover tool I can use it. There's one other thing that you might want to do, and that is to assign these input presets to something. What does that mean? If I want to choose a capture preset at the moment, I come up to capture, select input device, and choose one. If I go back into the system settings, right click on that and say assign input 1, right click on that and say assign input 2, right click on that and say assign input 3, all that's happened is now when I go to capture they pop up in the list there. Now there are loads of different possible capture settings that you could have. I've actually got a bunch of presets that I've made which again you can download from the website, the link will be in the description below. To get them into EDIUS, all you have to do is go to Settings and Device Preset, right-click and say Import, find the settings that you've downloaded from me. Device Preset will just be some DV presets and a microphone. The other ones will be specific to different capture cards, like the Blackmagic Intensity Pro 4K and so on. You just choose your preset, open, and then it adds them into the list. So if I just want to load up the presets for the shuttle that I've got installed at the moment, I'll just click on that, open, and in it adds my settings for the shuttle. They're all PAL settings, they're not NTSC settings, so no use to people in American Japan and so on. And feel free to not use them or feel free to take them and modify them. The other setting on capture that you might be interested in changing is up here under application and then capture. And it's this one here, confirm file name at capture. So if you're doing a capture from tape, it'll normally name them automatically. But if you tick that, you get the option of changing the name either before you capture it or after you capture it. This is something people ask me a lot, is how can I name things when capturing? We'll come in here and tick that. The rest of this stuff, again, I'll leave it as default. But if you want to know what it is, have a look in the capture section of the full tutorial.